Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? Another Frilici Friday, the last day of September. Oh my goodness. And it's a beautiful, beautiful fall day. And I think it's going to be a great weekend. So hopefully, although like prayers for everyone down south, we are having beautiful weather here and clearly like they are not faring nearly as well, which is just so heartbreaking. So anyway, but yes, prayers for everyone um, kind of going through all of that that's happening down south. So hi, Deb. Hello, Philomena. How are you guys? Thanks for joining us today. So we are going to have some fun today. Hi, Susie. Hello. We are playing with, this is the, we're going to play with this bundle, this awesome bundle, the sweet gingerbread. Hello, Stephanie. How are you? Thanks for joining us. So the sweet gingerbread stamp set. And then these are called the gingerbread house dies that go with the stamp set. So this is one of those, like a super cute, I've been like flipping through the catalog and like this keeps like jumping out at me like you need to buy this stamp set. So finally I did a couple weeks ago and I had so much fun playing with this stamp set and I've got like some super cute like gingerbread cards for you to share with you today. So great sentiments. We've got one that says, have a sweet Christmas, sending love. Hi, Teresa, how are you? And then from our home to yours. And then tons and tons of cute little stamp imagery that you can create your gingerbread house. And it just totally reminds me of... <clears throat> Like when my kids were younger and we used to buy like that little gingerbread house kit and put it together and how much fun we had. Um, a little side note though, I will say it was one of those like, I always wanted to like get one and like do it perfectly, which you can't do with kids, right? You just like have to kind of let them like have at it. So it was always like, let's do one together. And then secretly I wanted to get like another one and do it like totally perfectly myself. I never actually did that. I think I was probably too worn out by the time that happened. But we always had so much fun that there were like, I think houses and trains and lots of different things. So it makes me want to go buy one of those again this year and, and make it. So maybe, maybe I will. Anyway, but yeah, super cute stamp set, the gingerbread, sweet gingerbread stamp set, and then the coordinating set of dies that go with it. So there's like the cute little cloud. This is like a little thing that kind of makes like a snow bank and then the house. And then again, lots of coordinating dies that go with the images in the stamp set. So we are gonna have so much fun playing with this today because it's just so stinking cute. So in the meantime, I have, I was like, kind of like, do I say it like right away or wait until more people come on? So I thought, all right, I'll like wait till a couple people come on and then I will announce that you guys, thank you so much. We did it, not just like, we all did it. You guys were awesome. I earned the incentive trip last night. It actually happened. So super duper excited. Thank you every single one of you for your support, for your orders, for your love, for your well wishes. Hello, Miss Beth. Um, my team stepped up huge in terms of what they're doing and selling and promotions because it's a combination. I never earned the temp, uh, trip all based on sales. Well, I don't no, I don't think I ever could have done that. Um, anyway, but you get points for like every dollar that you sell. And then also for your um, your team, your downline uh, promotions that they get, you also get um, points for that too. So I generally have always earned the trip based on my sales and what my team is doing. So it's a very combined effort. And again, like I just, I'm like so humbled put that word out there. That is a really hard thing for me to do. I am definitely like a, I am a, like, I can do it all on my own. I'm kind of a loner in that way. Like, I don't like to ask for help. That's really, really hard for me to do. Um, but I kind of, I thought back to like last year, I remember doing that also and like feeling like super kind of out of my comfort zone doing that. And just how like amazing, like the response was. And so I thought, you know, that, cause I kind of was like, are people going to be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe she's like asking for that. But people were so gracious last year that I'm like, it kind of made me learn from that whole experience too. Like it's okay to ask for help. So thank you guys so very much. Um, it's funny cause I was like, oh, I wonder if I have something like Norwegian, which of course I don't, but I kind of wanted to like, 
I don't know, what do you wear in Norway or what do you do in, <laughs> I don't really even know yet. I will know after uh, I go on this trip next May it is, um, which feels like forever from now, right? We gotta get through a whole winter before we get to go on that trip, but it's definitely something fun to look forward to. And again, so thank you so very much, every each and every single one of you for all of your orders, love, support, well wishes, all of that. It's just so uh, appreciated. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so uh, let's get back to business. We have, what is going on? Um, <clears throat> Oh, the other thing, I, my little notes, I was like, oh, I have to mention, like, I thought I had a lot of Christmas cards, and then I started, like, all the orders are coming in, and I'm, like, almost panicking, like, I hope I have enough Christmas cards to send out to everybody. So we definitely, like, cleaned out, I've got, like, this kind of old um, antique cabinet that I keep all of my cards in, and I'm like, wow, I did a pretty good job on that, um, So, or you guys did, so, but thank you again. Um, yeah, like I said, the orders were rolling in, and so I've got, like, thank you packages going out, and I will have more thank you packages going out after this Facebook Live, after we do the drawing, be sending those out next week, so, yeah, but wow, I, I plowed through the, the Christmas cards, that's for sure, which is great, because they're not doing me any good sitting in my little cabinet, right? Um, I generally, they're all like um, past, you know, um, stamps and, you know, retired products. So I don't even really send those out to people, um, especially, you know, people that are kind of um, involved in Stampin' Up! Because you can't get any of those things anymore. So they weren't doing me a lot of good. So I'm happy to be able to get them out to you guys and let you be able to use them um, for like, especially like card layout ideas. Or maybe you have some of those old products and it'll inspire you to pull them out and play with them again too if you have uh, like a new idea. So um, the other thing, though, that I have to mention, because Stampin' Up! just announced this, or I think maybe officially they're going to be announcing it tomorrow on October 1st, which is World Card Making Day. Um, so, but basically they want everybody to know, I don't know if I'm like, this is a spoiler thing or not, but whatever, I'm telling you guys, because I know about it and I want to make sure you guys know about it too. They are doing free shipping. <laughs> Teresa, I haven't even seen that yet. Oh my goodness. All right, I am gonna, let's see. Um, I, I didn't even see that you put an order in. Thank you. There, okay, good, you guys are back. <laughs> I was just saying that gives me a sec to run and get another piece of paper. I am gonna do that real quick. Sorry about that. I, I don't think I've ever had that long of a delay, but Teresa, since I didn't see that, I like looked early this morning, but it must have been since I looked. So give me one sec. I wanna go get a little slip of paper so I can write your name on that to put it in the um, drawing that we'll do. So one moment, I'll be right back, ladies. <laughs> here I come okay so yes all right I'm gonna put your name right on my little slip of paper here okay so Tracy you will be in the drawing also okay so um oh yeah back to what I was talking about um did I say it free shipping did I tell you when on uh, this Tuesday October 4th on all orders over $75 or more, you get free shipping, which is awesome because I think it's like a minimum $7.95 shipping. Um, so like zero, no shipping at all. Um, so very, very cool. So keep that in mind. If you are wanting to order, especially like if you want to get the projects that I'm going to demonstrate, um, get your name in the drawing and do all that stuff, wait until uh, Tuesday and then you get free shipping on any order over $75. So it's kind of a no-brainer, right? So keep that in mind. I'll be posting on Facebook and emailing about it too so that I make sure to let everybody know, okay? Um, oh, and then one more quick reminder. Um, the one-day retreat is coming up. On it's Saturday, October 22nd, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. right here in Alma. It's such an awesome day. I love, I love, love, love this day to hang out with everybody and make cute projects. Um, let's see, we feed you all day long with like lunch, dinner, little breakfast 
buffet, snacks all day long. Um, you get to do make and takes, you get table treats um, at your low place setting. You get a, like an eight foot long table to work at all day. I bring all my stamp sets, punches, all my die cutting and embossing stuff. You guys can play with that. Um, I have a BOGO sale there then also. Um, it's just an awesome, awesome day. Come make whatever you want to make. It doesn't even have to be like paper crafting stuff. Um, I've had people bring like weaving before, quilt um, you can work on whatever you want to work on. So just come hang out with us. It's a great, great day to spend with the ladies all crafting together in whatever it is that you like to do and socializing, right? Just like hanging out, chatting with the other ladies, walking around, seeing what everybody else is doing. So love to have you join us. RSVPs are coming up though. Last day to RSVP is October 10th. So it's a week from this Monday is the last day to RSVP and prepay to get your spot at the one day retreat, okay? So I'd love to have you join us if you are able to, if you're in the area, or if you wanna like travel a little bit and come hang out with us, that would be awesome too. Um, okay, we are gonna do our drawing for the Heart Pearls, beautiful, beautiful package. I just keep thinking these are gonna be like especially great for like Valentine projects or even like holiday projects when you wanna put a little heart, a little love in something. Um, so yes, the heart pearls are what we're gonna give away today. I think there are three different kind of uh, shades or tones. They're all white, but some of them, like one looks a little more pearlescent, um, one's more shiny and maybe one's more matte, I guess. And then there are two different sizes of them also. But you get, if I can read this, no, I don't think I can. I'm going to put my glasses on. 180 of the little heart pearls in here. Okay. All right. So your name is in the basket right here. If you shared the Facebook Live video, the last one that I did, or if you signed up for my email list. And I had a number of people do that sign up for my email list which is always fun so great way to keep updated on anything that is going on around here with um me and classes with um stamping up and promotions and events and all that kind of good stuff okay so there i gotta toss them all around and we have one lucky winner it is miss oh miss donna black but is that what it, no, I think, I guess it does say, I can't read my own writing. I'm pretty sure it's Donna. I'm going to have to um, go back and look. This is, Donna is a person that signed up for my email list, so I'm going to confirm. But Donna, if I don't have your address, I'm going to double check and make sure it's, I think it's, it's, I don't know, or maybe B-L-E-U-K-C-K. -K. <laughs> That's awful. I did this late last night. I'm like, oh, I cannot even read my own writing. That's really bad. Anyway, Donna, <laughs> Congratulations. I'll figure out who it is. I will send you a message if especially if I don't have your um your address to get these sent out to you. So okay, that's embarrassing, right? <laughs> oh well, you know, you guys all know me pretty well at this point, I and mean, it's just kind of how I roll. Like, you know, sometimes close but not quite is kind of where we're at. Oops, there. We're gonna dump those in there so we're ready, right? Okay, all right, so. I was trying to decide like what to give away and I've had these little notebooks. So these were the notebooks that were given away um, with our uh, starter kit, our last starter kit during celebration. And I love these things, but I thought, I don't know if I'm ever really gonna use them. And I especially love like that kind of logo imagery. This was um, from the Stampin' Up! 30th year anniversary, which is now, that was in 2008, which has been a few, I can't believe like we've kept this logo imagery around for so long now that I think about that, right? Because they started in 88, 98, 2008, 2000. Yeah, it was 2018. So we're coming up on like four years um, of their anniversary. So anyway, but I love this little notebook. So this is what we're going to give away. I want to get it out to somebody so that you can enjoy and appreciate it also. Hello, Tracy. Thanks for joining us. So this little notebook is what I'm gonna give away to anyone, whoever uh, shares this Facebook Live video anytime between now and our next Facebook Live. And if you're new to me and sign up for my email list, which the link will be above this Facebook Live video to be able to do that after I get everything uploaded this afternoon. So this is what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live, okay? Um, all right, I'm like cruising right along because I have so much I wanna show you guys. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh. Yes, so shout outs to ladies in my downline. We had Bonnie Pazdernick and Beth Martin both 
advanced to qualified team member, which is means that they had $900 in sales um, from like when they bought the starter kit. So their first $900 in sales gets them to what's called qualified team member. And that's also what helped me. So, um, Stampin' Up, it's kind of funny because they just, they kind of recognize you as like halfway to bronze elite. Um, they don't actually do anything in terms of um, kind of rewards. They wait until you get to bronze elite, which is $1,800 in sales. And then they give you that extra 5% discount or income on your orders. So it's kind of a good recognition of like your halfway point to getting to bronze elite. Um, but th those promotions actually in your team or your downline, you you as an upline earn points for those that help earn that incentive trip. So those two promotions definitely help me earn the incentive trip. And then we had another person, Miss Susie Meekumber, who I think is watching here also. She just promoted to Bronze Elite. Um, so she's at $1,800 in rolling 12 month sales. And so now she gets that 25% discount on all of her orders. And the super cool thing is whatever title you are at as of September 30th, which is today, you actually get the reward and benefits for that title for a whole nother year. So Stampin' Up's year will start tomorrow, again, on October 1st. So whatever your um, title is on September 30th, they recognize that on October 1st, and then they reward you for all the way through next September 30th of 2023. So for example, Susie's gonna get that 25% discount or income on all of her orders for an entire year. Even if she dips below the $1,800 in sales between now and next September 30th, they don't care. They're not worried about that. They wait until next September 30th to look at that again and then retitle again. So yes, very, very cool. So congratulations, yes, to Bonnie and Beth and Susie for their promotions to Qualified Team Member and Bronze Elite this month. So yes, congratulations, ladies. It's fun to see those great things happening for everybody in my group as well. Uh, let's see. Oh, so speaking of group, we had our group meeting, um, I guess it was, so the third Tuesday in September, so it was actually last Tuesday, but I have to show, we did some super cute make and takes. So the first one is actually like a little sampler with the Celebrate Every, Everything designer series paper. So it's just this cute little kind of flip book. And so it says the Celebrate Everything with the name on it. And then on the back, we actually provided like a little um, bit of information. So for example, you could show this to your customers at classes or um, your team or whoever, um, anybody that's interested in putting an order in because this Celebrate Everything designer series paper is one of the host items that you can get for free out of the holiday catalog with an order of at least $150. I think it's $18 and it's a huge pack of paper, all 12 by 12. So let's see, I don't know if I can flip through this very well, if you'll be able to see if I flip, but you kind of can see, oops, I think I flipped past a couple, but Oh yeah, we're not getting them all, are we? But this is such a cute, yeah, we gotta do this again, don't we, right? Okay, so there's that one. Yeah, we're gonna do it like this so you guys can really see, okay? Because I love this pack of paper. Is that, it's funny, it feels so thick, but I think that is just one, right? Okay, and then there's that one right there. This should be easier, but apparently it's not. And then this one, and then pool, um, not pool party, but um, Pacific Point is one of the colors. And then the cute little fall leaves. I definitely have used those a lot, right? This one's kind of Halloween-y almost. And then a little granny apple green. This one is fun too. Mary, hello, thanks for joining us. Super cute paper. So again, you can get this free with your host rewards on any order over $150, okay? Oh, the little pumpkins, those are perfect right now for fall, right, for Halloween. And I love that stripey paper. That'll be great for um, Valentine's Day too, right? And even the, this print, this little, this keeps catching my eye, the black and white um, uh, Christmas trees. I think those are the pine trees are gonna be fun. This is super cute too. You think of like fireworks, like for, ha um, for 4th of July or maybe um, New Year's and then another fun print there too. So yes, a cute little sampler. So we made this and then we actually made four cards with the Celebrate Everything Designer Series paper. We also featured that black and white gingham ribbon. And then I'm trying to remember now the tags, whatever these are, I'm totally drawing a blank on this stamp set. So 
Where's my catalog, right? Okay, it's right here. Oh, because I have it flipped open for another reason. I wonder if I'm going to be able to find, because now I need to tell you guys what it is, right? The, um, <clears throat> and I had it marked for something else, so that's not going to be very helpful for me. Is it? Let's see. It's like a tag stamp set. I'm trying to look in the bundles. I thought that would be the quickest way. Oh, yeah. The Celebration Tags Dies and the Celebrate with Tags stamp set on page 67. So let me just flip. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we're going to flip here. So this is the stamp set that we used right here and then the set of dies that work with it also. And then they've got a couple of tags in there too. So that's what I was showing you um, on this one right here. It's got that little tag that flips up. So this, you could put the tag on a card like we did here or just use it as a tag, right? So isn't that cute? So there's one. Then we have another kind of a fun um, wintry be jolly with the little mitten and the snowflake. And that snowflake is in those dies also. And then here's a fun birthday, like what does it say? Let's celebrate you, right? And then the fun little um, firework. I think I think of that as fireworks, right? A little firework paper. And then here is one more, a little Merry Christmas. This is another tag. And then we actually like cut off a little bit of the front of it. So the little white would peek out and then you've got a little two from. So that just slips right inside there too. So again, you could put the tag right on the card like we did or just use the tag separately, right? Okay, so those were the make and takes. Um, so the other thing that I like to mention too is those make and takes. If you are not local, um, as far as like being in our team and our expired stampers team, or if you're thinking about getting the starter kit, something to keep in mind, you can get these make and takes every single month. I mail them to you, um, send you all the parts and pieces that you need. You need the stamp set and the dies to complete your projects, um, but it's a great way to still kind of feel a part of things and involved. Um, um, is getting those make and takes each month for our team meeting. We do a separate um, Facebook group and a separate Facebook Live at our team meetings too. So it's, a, again, a great way to stay connected with everybody also. So yeah, thank you, Philomena. I was in, loving those make and takes too. So I've got more to share with you guys though. So for example, um, I love to um, send cards out to my top five sellers each month. So this was a, just a cute, simple little just for you card that I created and sent out to all of my top five sellers um, for the month of August. I always kind of recognize like a month after the fact. Hey, Debbie, hello, how are you? And welcome. Uh, anyone that sells over $600 makes it into the $600 club and they all received the awesome, beautiful, my most favorite. These are the adhesive backed sequins and gems. Everybody got a package of these as well. We also do a mystery project, so mystery stamping. So this is kind of a fun thing where I will post on our other uh, team Facebook group all of like the dimensions, um, measurements, kind of um, the basic idea of the card that I'm going to make without actually showing the card. And then the fun part is the idea is that anybody in my team can gather all of their supplies together, cut things how I specify, you know, kind of get all the stuff together. And then we make the mystery project together at the team meeting. And then if you haven't had a chance, because I know sometimes it's, you know, people aren't able to get everything together. It's still fun to be able to create something based off of that mystery project after the fact too. And I love for people to do that and then post them on our Facebook group. So this was the mystery project that we created this month. It's this kind of fun, I don't even know what that um, fold is called, but it will stand right up too. And so this one says, so grateful. The fun part was this is, um, I think it's a soft seedlings stamp set and we inked it up. I think it was in maybe crushed curry or very, I'm sorry, crushed curry or daffodil delight. And then we took a little sponge dauber in Cajun craze and then just kind of, um, you know, inked up the dauber, like put the dauber on your finger, put it into the ink pad, and then you just kind of tap it around the edges of the leaf stamp and even on the edges of the sentiment there. And then it just kind of, I'm just going to keep, oh, they're good. Okay, I'm like, I'm going to keep waiting patiently thinking I'll grab a sip of water maybe while we're waiting here. But <laughs> okay, so the other thing, one more thing I want to share with you guys are 
our swap cards. So that's another fun thing. And again, if you're long distance, you can make your swap cards, mail them to me. I swap them out at the team meeting and then I mail them back to you. So again, you can participate even if you're not local to us, okay? So let me show you, we have this fun card. This one Judy made um, and I love these. We don't sell these, but I think they're great. This little flippy um, cello bag so that you can show the inside and then you can show, oops, there's my little sticky that tells me it's Judy. <laughs> but then you can see the envelope as well. There, we'll take that off there too. So this is a great way um, to be able to display your cards, okay? So beautiful season of thanks card. Here's another one. This so grateful for you. And so Julie actually used the same um, stamp that we used on the mystery project. And she likes to use these little cello envelopes as well. This one is an opening this way kind of thing too. So then you can see the inside of the card and then her envelope as well. And then who's next? This one was Jenny. Um, I love this too, that sentiment, right? You are absolutely amazing. Beautiful card, right? Um, let's see then. Ooh, and this one was a fun one. And does it, we're going to have to open this one up because I think this one does something cool. Charlene showed us. So this was a card that Charlene made. Oh yeah. Okay. So check this out. Isn't that cool? It opens. I wonder if I can do both, both sides at the same time. Oop, it's upside down, isn't it? <laughs> I was like, that doesn't look right. There we go. <laughs> there, isn't that cool? So it kind of flips so you can see one side of the designer series paper and then I guess you can just see more, right? But then these kind of flip open too. Isn't that cool with that little hello with that pumpkin? Isn't this such a cool, like, oh my gosh, very cool, very, very cool card. And then who else do we have? Oh, Sunday made these cards and this is actually um, from one of our paper pumpkin kits. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? And then the envelope too, isn't that? Let's see, we'll go that way, there we go. The envelopes are gorgeous too, aren't they, right? Okay, then we have, I think this one has got to be Sharon's. Yep, this one is Miss Sharon. And another beautiful, right? Love that card as well. I'm trying to see, that looks like, uh, no, I think it's just, a, I was looking like, does it have a fun fold on it? Um, but I think, let me try to get this open. This one is, okay, it's being flexy for me. Let's see, I think I can get it open. Now I just have to know if there's a, nope, I think, okay. That's what I wasn't sure if it was a fun fold. I just love actually how she kind of cut that at an angle. That's kind of a different something, right? That I don't normally do on a project, but it really highlights the detail of that die very, very well. And then lastly, we have, these are this month. So I think Beth like whipped this out right um, before she came to the meeting, these cute little, treats, uh, treat boxes from Paper Pumpkin again. This one happens to say, enjoy this spooky treat. So aren't those so cute? And it's like a little box that slides. And then I think she's got some chocolate. I haven't even eaten that yet, right? I can't believe that survived a whole week, week plus in my house. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> Okay. All right. I think that's it. So anyway, I just like to make sure you guys see all the fun that we have at our team meetings. And if you're ever wondering, um, you know, about becoming an inspired stamper, about getting the starter kit, please let me know if you have any questions, because I'd love for you to be able to participate in all the fun that we have there as well. Okay. Um, okay. One more. Well, let's see. Yeah. Okay. We're getting close to being able to um, share our projects, but I wanted to just show, where are they? Oh yeah, real quick. Um, we had the customer appreciation event last Thursday as a way to say thank you again for all of your support this year. So obviously that's a little more for local people. That's why I was throwing so much extra in, in terms of thank yous um, for orders for online, because I know if you're long distance, you can't really get to the customer appreciation event. So I wanted to make sure to recognize and say thank you. So that was kind of a customer appreciation event too. All those um, Christmas cards going out as well. But in the meantime, so customer appreciation event here locally, we had a couple of make and takes that we made, just some cute, simple projects, mainly because if there can be a lot of people there. And so I don't want to um, have people getting stressed out about like trying to make like a really ridiculously detailed card, but I think still super duper cute. So here is one of the cards that we made with the little Merry Christmas and the candy cane. And I love, um, that is the parakeet party ribbon and color ribbon, then just a couple of strips of designer series paper. 
I think I did something on the inside. Yes, we've got the sentiment that says, wishing you lots of love, joy, and happiness this Christmas season and always. So that's the inside of that one. And then this one right here that says, so very merry with that. This is from the, um, oh, what's that designer series paper? I'm totally drawing a blank. It's the one with the, um, the Santas think, right? I don't know. I'm trying to remember that one right now. <laughs> my my brain is a little bit fried like the past week or two. So I've been filling in for a gal at work. So I've been working like a ton of extra hours and then like plugging along trying to um, make sure I earn this incentive trip too. Yeah, Santa Express. That is the designer series paper because I think it's so such cute paper with all the Santas on it. But then I loved that paper too. So again, we've got a little So Very Merry. And then on the inside, I think we stamped, we did the little Christmas greetings. I love that font too. And then that little tree there also. So two simple, cute holiday cards that we made. And then we had a raffle and I thought, I emailed about it and I meant to email today instead of yesterday. I think I posted on our Facebook group right here, but then I thought I wanna announce on our uh, Facebook Live also. So the winners of, um, I had some fun um, items in our raffle drawing, so I wanna announce the winners. I've got um, the ribbon, this is the gold. Um, edged ribbon and that one the winner was Roseanne Lafreniere then we had the sweet sorbet ink pad and Lori Cresswell won the ink pad uh, Miss Cheryl Hall won these are the fine sparkle adhesive bath gems um, let's see oh Gwen Larank actually won the little Scotty dog punch so cute I don't even have that punch yet and I'm like oh I, I think I need that one now uh, Miss Jennifer Tilton won the Whimsical Woodland 3D Embossing Boulder. And then actually Cheryl Hall was a winner a second time. She won also the Pretty Flowers Embossing Folder. And then lastly, Miss Sabina Miller won the Rings of Love Designer Series Paper. So congratulations, ladies. They all got their name in the drawing. You got one entry for coming to the customer appreciation event. You got more entries if you signed up for classes or a club or um, signed up to host a private party or a class. Um, if you shopped from the buy one, get one free sale. So many entries were in there. And then those are the lucky ladies that won those prizes. I will be putting, so orders are gonna be coming, I think on Monday, orders from customer appreciation event will be coming. So I'll be putting these prizes in with your order and I'll let you know when everything is here. Um, if you didn't happen to shop from buy one, get one free though, I will put your prize out on the porch and you can stop by and grab it anytime this afternoon or anytime at your convenience. Um, so congratulations, ladies. I thought that was kind of fun. Um, love giving away free stuff. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so we're gonna skip this stuff out of the way and okay, we're gonna do our next drawing and then I think we are ready to do our stamping. So, okay, um, this is how this is working, okay? You, if you put an online order in through me and use the September host code, you get both of these projects that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live, right? You also get your name in the drawing. Oh yeah, I'm giving away one of the sweet gingerbread stamp sets also. Gotta make sure this is, one time that happened where I got the stamp sets mixed up and I sent somebody my used stamp set instead of the brand new one, and that was kind of embarrassing. Um, so yes, you will get a brand new sweet gingerbread stamp set if your name is drawn in the drawing. If you bumped your order up to $50, you also get to pick from either the free embellishment for this month or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF, the 16 project tutorial. And then you also get 10 free handmade Christmas cards as well as a celebration choice. And that's what kind of put me over the edge was because I am I think I'm all out now of celebration choices. Um, I'm pretty sure. I think I am. I might have one left. Um, actually, I have a few of my my um, stamp sets. that. So if, um, like Teresa, I haven't even had a chance to send you a message yet. But if there's something that you're looking for celebration-wise that you didn't get, if you don't mind my gently used items, you're welcome to have that. Or they could pick from another 10 free Christmas cards. So potentially 20 free Christmas cards. And that really helped me kind of like wipe out my stash of Christmas cards. I have some left, but not a ton. 
Um, so yes, yeah, so all of that goody free stuff, again, kind of as a thank you, well, a huge thank you for your orders. So, all right, let's see, names are in the basket here. Let me make sure I'm like talking so much, I gotta make sure I have the right names in here. But yeah, I dumped the other ones out from the sharing and signing up for my email list. Okay, so one lucky winner will receive the sweet gingerbread stamp set. And that lucky winner is, <gasps> yay, at the very last second, Miss Teresa Hitchman. And I promise there are other names in there too. <laughs> well, congratulations, Teresa. You are the winner of the Sweet Gingerbread Stamp Set. All right, I will get that sent out to you. All right, let me just scoot these things out of the way. All right, so I wanna tell you guys, so, um. I, it was really like, I was surprised at how many people wanted the free Christmas cards or just free cards. I didn't realize, I figured people always wanted like product, which people like that too, right? But um, it kind of made me realize like, hey, okay, let's kind of continue this. So um, starting uh, October 1st, so tomorrow, um, anyone that puts an order in, let's see, where where's my stuff, right? I got to because I changed it a little bit. So we're gonna do something new with the new year, which is always kind of fun to kind of change things up a little bit. But okay, so this is the deal. And I'll, you know what? We're gonna flip the camera down. So then I make sure I say it right and you guys see it. Okay, so yeah, turn your heads away and I'm gonna tell you guys what we're doing for um, starting tomorrow, October 1st. So if you are inclined, wait and put an order in. Well, I guess it doesn't. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter if you do it today, tomorrow, whatever. Um, yeah. It, I don't, like, why do I even, doesn't really matter. <laughs> You're welcome, Teresa. All right, turn your heads away. We're flying through the air. Flip the camera down, and let's see. Let me get this in here, okay. All right, we're not wiggling around too much, right? Okay, flip this. Okay, let's see here. We got the glare. Oops, whoa. <laughs> that went way too far. I was just trying to, like, fix it a little bit. Okay, so here is the deal for orders now starting basically for the new year. If you put a $50 online order in, you're going to get the projects that I will demonstrate in just a minute. Your name goes in the drawing and this is still on its way, but I have gotten, I have ordered the all bundled up super cute little stamp set. You name it, will go in the drawing to win that stamp set. You also get to pick from the free embellishment or the 16 project PDF tutorial. I'm still working on trying to decide what our October free embellishment is going to be. I will let you know as soon as I figure that out. Then if you bump your order up to over $100, I'm going to send an additional five free handmade cards. So you're going to get your name in the drawing and you get all that good stuff with a $50 order. If you bump it up to $100, you're going to get an additional five free handmade cards. And you can specify if you want Christmas cards or all occasion cards. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing uh, going forward as far as ordering using the host code. This is the new host code. The K7U9M4HC is what you can use to order online. Okay, good. All right, I think we got that. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm like just shifting papers around. Oh, you know what I need to find is my grid paper, which is right here. Okay, okay, okay. We have that glare. So we're moving the table. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully that's not too dark. Maybe I'll turn the light on too. That gets weird. It's funny how <laughs> the lighting is just so different as like fall and winter come on. Mm. Okay, so here is our first project. Again, featuring the sweet gingerbread stamp set and those little gingerbread dies. We are going to have so much fun. Hello, Miss Kathy. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so this one I have to share because I love when I'm trying to find a color combination. I love going to our color coach and let me find. Mm, yes, it's this one right here under Orchid Oasis, so it's featuring Orchid Oasis, Fleur de Flamingo, and Coastal Cabana. If I kind of zoom that in, you guys can see those there. But I love, this is something that you can access um, 
online at stampinup.com. I will also include it, um, the links um, in the blog post that I do on my Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio blog this afternoon um, so that you can see that as well. But I love, this is just a great resource, um, you know, for color combinations. If you're kind of just drawing a blank on where to start. So again, Orchid Oasis, Fleur de Flamingo, and Coastal Cabana are what I used on that card, all based off of my color coach suggestions. Okay, so here we go. Yes, so adorable because the stamp set and dies are so adorable. There is a, a bit of stamping and I need to find my glasses right now because <laughs> we, I, I'm already like, ooh, I hope this goes okay. Because um, <laughs> I would normally have my head like right down here, but I don't want to do that because then obviously you guys can't see what's going on. So I'm gonna do the best I can with my stamping. Just know that I can do a better job probably when I'm not on camera, like probably many of us, right? Okay, in the meantime, blah, 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 Amy. Okay, here we go. We are gonna start with our Orchid Oasis card base. Piece of cardstock, basically full sheet of cardstock. Along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the eight or 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches. We're making a tall card today. It's gonna go like that, okay? On the inside, I have my piece of, this is four inches by five and a quarter, my standard layer that I do pretty much all the time on the inside of a card. I probably ought to change that up every once in a while, huh? Okay, and then we have the couple of layers of Coastal Cabana and basic white cardstock. And those are, this one is Coastal Cabana three and three quarters by five. And then the basic white is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And again, all of these measurements and details will be on my blog this afternoon. And then I have just a bunch of pieces of basic white cardstock to do our stamping and die cutting. Okay, so I am going to grab, I love to stamp on this little pierce, stamp and pierce mat. Let's see, one of these we are going to use, probably one of those. If you can kind of see, um, I almost feel, I was like, should I have popped it up on dimensionals, but there's that little bit of like snow bank. So we're gonna just die cut one of those pieces. So I'm gonna set that aside. Then we have, let's see, we are gonna do, let's scoot these guys over. <laughs> I'm like, I have too many pieces of, paper here, but I'm trying to remember. <laughs> so, the, cause the other thing, like I've got all these pieces of um, basic white cardstock. You could do it on one big piece of paper, but then it, you really need to cut it because when you go to um, die cut these things, you know, the dies kind of are moving all over the place. So that's why I thought I'm just gonna use these um, little pieces of paper so that I'm not kind of um, cornered in by one big piece and like having a problem with my dies on the die cutting machine, if that makes sense. So. Okay, we're gonna start with our Flirty Flamingo ink, and this is my house, and I wanna ink it up really well. And I'm kind of looking at it to make sure, because the other day when I was doing this, I could kind of see where maybe I didn't get enough ink. Um, and so I think I've got ink everywhere, and I'm gonna press very firmly. Using this pad also helps make sure with one of these solid image stamps that all of the ink comes off. That looks really good, I'm excited about that. Hey, Nikki, hello, how are you? Um, okay, that's all we need for that one. Now we're gonna use our Early Espresso ink pad, and we are gonna add some detail to our little gingerbread house. Okay, nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. Straight down, straight up. Okay, that's that. And then we are gonna outline our windows. It's amazing how just like these little bits of detail add so much, like, look at that. Like, isn't that already like so much better than um, when it was just a pink house? <laughs> it's funny, you know, just all the little things. Okay, now we are gonna use our Coastal Cabana ink. Okay, and okay, I liked to actually stamp off, so I'm gonna grab my little scratch piece of paper. Scoop these, okay, so I'm gonna ink up my little door, and I actually kinda, well, let's see, ink that up really well. I'm gonna stamp it off, and then, oh boy, let's see how this goes. 
Should have put my glasses on. Okay, actually, I did a really good job. Check that out. That's like centered really, really well. I just kind of like that little bit more muted tone on there. And then the windows, same thing. We're going to ink them up fully. We're going to stamp them off there. And let's see. The pressure is on, ladies, to try to get this. Okay, I'm happy with that. There we go. Okay, so there we've got our little house, right? Um, I also need to stamp. I tried to do a little bit of die cutting already, so I didn't have to do quite as much um, with you guys. But let's see, we have a little tree in Coastal Cabana. And then I'm going to clean that because we actually have to have another little tree in Orchid Oasis ink. So we're going to open that baby up again. That one right there. Ink up our Orchid Oasis. And then also lollipops. I stamped one lollipop and die cut it. So I'm going to do one more. There we go. Isn't that so cute? I love that lollipop. <laughs> There's just something just makes you happy, right? Okay. And then I need this little guy. Oops. There, going to make sure. So the, if you guys see what I'm doing, I'm inking it up. And I didn't have ink kind of in that corner. So when I'm looking at it, I'm trying to make sure I have ink everywhere. And yeah, that still looks funny, doesn't it? Okay. I think I brought an extra piece of paper. I don't know what my problem is. I think I'm afraid to press too hard. Although really, um, it's not going to matter because we are going to die cut this. So let's try that. There, that looks better. And then I also need a little heart. So we're going to stamp that right there okay so let's do a double oh i know what else there now we need our little have a sweet christmas we're gonna do that in our orchid oasis ink straight down this straight up oh so cute okay so we've got that stamped we have one tree and one tree, and I already have another one. We have one lollipop, I already have another one, and then we've got that and that. Okay, so I think <laughs> I think we have done all of our stamping. There's just something, I had so much fun playing with the stamp set the other day, just kind of building and creating this, just, we've got that one there, and that one there. Okay, there we go, sorry. I'm not sure why the connection is so bad today. I was kind of saying that. I don't know if you heard me or not, but I don't think I've ever had kind of this much trouble. But I do wonder, I don't know, you know, how is everything connected? Like maybe it has something to do with the storms, even though they're not right around here, right? I still wonder if it doesn't affect things somehow, right? Um, okay, let me see. I'm going to cut. This is what I was saying too, that... I want to kind of cut these little things apart because I don't want to be worrying about my dies moving all over the place. Okay. There, we don't need that one either, right? Okay. And I'm going to cut this little heart here too. There, it'll just be easier. And I think we're going to have to probably have another, we're going to have to run through again. Okay. So. We'll put these on here and get these things die cut. Okay, so we are going to use a ton of the dies in this set. So that one goes there. Got these cute little trees. Okay, well, it's all going to come back, and you guys are going to see how fabulous it is when we're all done. Okay, good. You're back. <laughs> I'm just continuing on. You guys aren't really missing anything other than me doing all of this die cutting. Um, let's see. Look at that cute little gingerbread house, though. Oh, isn't that so cute? I just love it. Okay, so we have a couple more things to die cut. Yep, we're good there, right? Okay, so we've got our little... Okay, all right, good. You're back again. That thing moved a little bit, but I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, it's all right. Okay, and then here is this little baby, like our little snow. Isn't that so cute? It's like a rolling, rolling hills of snow, right? All right, I think we're good. I'm going to scoot this guy out of the way. All right, the other thing that you are going to find is your friend is your little silicone mat here when you go to um, put everything 
put adhesive on everything, I guess I should say, right? Okay, so let me grab my adhesive. Okay, so this is our card right here. This is what we're making. You guys can see that, right? Okay, oh yeah, so this was my goof up. I didn't like how that stamped. That might've happened when you were <laughs> when you were reconnecting or when my, my video was. So we're gonna put that on the inside, but that's the great thing is when you stamp on our basic white cardstock, especially when you put it up against something dark like this, you can't even see it. It's back there on the other side. You wouldn't even know. All right, next we're gonna just add, mm, actually, you know what we're not? Okay, and then we're gonna just trim this. Normally I would probably use my um, paper trimmer, but since we're gonna just do that just like that and that should be good. Okay, so now we're gonna add some adhesive. We're running it and tipping it back each time we are using our adhesive. Okay, and we're gonna just add that. So you got just that little bit of Coastal Cabana popping out there. All right, next we have all these little bits here. So we're gonna add our gingerbread house. He's gonna go maybe right about there. I'm trying to make sure that I have enough room for that. Yep, okay. Okay, so we've got that one there. We're adding adhesive on our little trees. Okay, and then our roof. So this, <laughs> see you can see it's sticking to me, but not the silicone mat. So that's a good thing, right? Okay, let's put the little roof line on. We're gonna do, oh my God, it's so cute. And <laughs> they're like, everything is sticking to me, but it's okay, right? All right, then we're gonna add one tree right there. We've got our orchid oasis tree and then another little coastal cabana tree, just so cute. Oh, actually, I put um, seal on that, but I wanna pop it up. My little heart, Lori, hello. Welcome and thanks for joining us. Okay, super annoying. It's it's fairly annoying to me too, sorry. Sorry that it's so, <laughs> yes, Lori, exactly. Best motto in life, better late than never. Okay, all right, one last little step. We are gonna add my favorite, the adhesive backed sequins and gems. We're just gonna add a little bit of bling. So these are Coastal Cabana sequins. We're gonna put one right there. We are going to do one right there. It's almost like snowflakes maybe, right? Snow falling, those little, there. So isn't that cute? The little have a sweet Christmas. And then on the inside, we've got the little lollipops there too, right? So super fun card number one. All right, I am gonna move this stuff. I think there's one color that I need. I think it's actually Coastal Cabana. Okay, now I'm gonna attempt to, I know I don't need all of these stamps, but I'm gonna try to find that. We don't need the heart. Okay, we do need the scroll work. We do need that and we don't need the tree. Okay. All right, so here is card number two, another super duper cute little gingerbread house. We just did some different details. I love that little white picket fence. And then look at, okay, these like I want to eat them. These are um, little gumdrops, right? Because of course you have to have little gumdrops on your gingerbread house, right? Okay, so let me show you guys how we made this one. Um, okay, let's start again with our, we did do a little bit of, die cutting already. So this is my little package here. This is the little die that we're going to use to make that little white picket fence. Okay, yep, I did cut one little lollipop already and the trees. Oh yeah, okay, so the trees, if you guys didn't notice, I embossed those. So let's just keep those little babies right over here so I don't lose them. And then we've got lots of other parts and pieces, okay? But again, same basic idea. We've got, this is thick, basic white cardstock is what we started with, okay? So full sheet of cardstock on the eight and a half inch side, we score, uh, sorry, <laughs> let's go with this first, right? On the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. Then on the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So we're gonna do a, a card standing that way, right? Then we have a piece of a polished pink cardstock. This one measures... This is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. Okay, so that one's gonna go right there. And then we have some of our in color. 
paper. And of course, after I designed this card, I realized I pulled my last piece of, this is Tahitian tied with the polka dots. So I went with Tahitian tied with the little flowers, or you could use the stripes either side, but they both all work very well, I think. This one measures three and three eighths by four and five eighths. And again, these measurements will be on my blog, especially since it's like fading in and out so much. I'm really, really sorry, but you guys should get all of the colors, the dimensions, ink all over everywhere. I'm gonna press firmly to make sure all the ink comes off the stamp. All right, woohoo, that looks good. Okay, I think that's all we need for that one. Then we have some polished pink ink that we are gonna do kind of um, our gingerbread house accents. We're gonna do love. There's just something about, isn't it so cute? That little scroll work on there. Like, of course you have to have that cute little scroll work. Then we have, oh, let's see, one of these pieces. Does that one go? Yep, okay, so that's for that. And that's for that. Okay, so we are going to do the top of our little roof line again in polished pink ink. I'm gonna do that. And then, mm, I remember this now. There's my little scrap piece of paper. Okay, I wanted just a little, it was easier to just do one of these at a time. Because it's separate too, okay? So that and that, and then we're gonna do that little baby right there, okay? And then in Coastal Cabana ink, I need a little lollipop, which is this one right here. There's that and that, okay. All right, I think I have not quite actually used everything. I forgot one little accent, so we need these, this little bit. Right, so we are gonna do our embossing first. We've got our, oops, let's, we're gonna go that way with hopefully nothing falls out. There we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Crafter math, serious issue today, ladies. Okay, I wanted to do um, the little trees. I wanted them embossed a little bit, okay? So we're gonna use the Whimsical Woodland Embossing Folder. And I like this little, um, detail right there. I thought I wanted the polka dots, but I tried that and I didn't like it. So this actually does some fun detail on our trees. So we're going to just set those right in there. Put that on there. And then we're going to just crank this baby through. And I'm going to go back through one time just to make sure we get some good embossing. All right, let's check this out. Oop, there we go. So it doesn't, it looks like little pine trees or like, yeah, like the detail, right, on the trees. Okay, so there's that. And then, ooh, you know what I forgot was my sentiment. I gotta stamp that somewhere. Okay, good, I have room too. Okay, so on this little piece, I'm just gonna stamp a little sending love that is just barely gonna fit on there. <laughs> I don't know what piece I had intended <laughs> to use, but I probably use that on something else. Okay, so off camera, I'm gonna just stamp this real quick for us so we can get it die cut, but I don't like that, okay? So we're gonna try it again. There, that's better, okay. All right, so we're gonna cut some of these things up. We're gonna close this ink up so that we don't get it all over everything. Okay, we have our, okay, we've got this little guy here. Okay, we probably are gonna have to do a few of these, but we'll just see, okay. We've got our house. Okay, so we've got our sending love. We've got our house. Okay. And now I'm gonna cut these little guys again because they're gonna be easier to do single. I'm just gonna trim that off a little bit there too. Okay, so this might be about all we're gonna fit on this one and we'll have to crank this through again. Well, hello, Miss Deb. Thanks for joining us and sharing the video. Okay, let's see. So we've got a lollipop right there. Um, oh yeah, then these actually, where are my dies? <laughs> they're buried, they're, yes, they're here, okay. so. We have more. We're gonna do the little, the windows and the doors. Oops, 
So you gotta be careful. There are lots of little um, dies in this set. So just don't, don't lose them, right? And then we'll do one of these and that because we've got two. So we use the glimmer paper. This is some of the in color glimmer paper. And I'm gonna just trim off. So we need three of them and I only have two dies. So we're gonna do one right now and then we'll do the other two next with the rest of our stuff. Okay, so we've got that there. All right, let's get things positioned now, right? So that, okay. Yeah. So it definitely takes a moment to get these things die cut, but I think it's well worth the effort um, because these things are just so cute. Okay. Cooperate with me a little bit though, would you please, little die? <laughs> okay, this one. So yeah, sometimes it just takes a moment, but there, I think. Do we have everything? I feel like things look pretty good. Okay, nobody move. <laughs> okay, let's try this, lay that down there. Actually, we're gonna go this way. So these are my old... <laughs> Oops, there we go. It was on the ink pad. That's not gonna work very well. <laughs> Hello, Miss Danielle. Oh, that one totally moved. How are you? I have a package for you out on the porch too. I don't know if you got my message or not, but I'm, I guess I'm gonna just do a little shout out right now in case <laughs> you don't know. Stop by any time to pick that up. Okay, so here's the cute little gingerbread house. There we go. Love that little guy, right? Okay, we have, there's our little door with our heart on it. Oh, everything's just so cute. We have one window. The other window went awry, the die did. So we're gonna do that one again. We'll stamp that again when we do this little baby. Okay, and then we've got our little, <laughs> I love these little lollipops. So cute, the little swirly, right? Okay, so let's see. Um, oh, oh yeah. I actually need another one of these little gumdrops too. Yeah, all right. So we're gonna have to cut a couple of these guys. So we've got that one there. Um, let's see if I can do this right on here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, I need one more little window. So I'm gonna just stamp this. Right there, let's see if that works. Okay, we've got that. All right, so we've got this one. We've got our little window. Ha, huh, we'll see if that works, huh? All right, what am I missing now? Oh, I know what I need is, um, man, I should have die cut more of those little, oh, did I or not? No, nope, I don't think I thought that much ahead for those. I need another little gumdrop though. Okay, put that one there and then we need our fence. And then, do I have everything? <laughs> we'll see here. Okay, so I have the Sending Love. I have one of those, actually I have two of those, I'm pretty sure, right? We've got that, we've got that, that, that. All right, I think we're good. We're gonna go for it and see if this will do it all for us. Okay. I do actually need one more of those little gumdrops, but we might just go with what we've got here. <laughs> I'm like so discombobulated. <laughs> okay, here we go. Super cute. It's so worth it, I promise. We're gonna run back through though, because the beauty of this like picket fence, picket, white picket fence die, like, Everything just popped right out. It worked so well. Of course, it moved a little bit, so I think we're gonna be okay. But look at that. Okay, check this out. I mean, seriously, that is so cute, isn't it? I love that little guy. Okay, and then we've got these two. Okay, we're gonna just kind of try to get all of this stuff here. All right, I'm trying to like, um, we need one more of these. We're gonna do this really quick because I want one more of those, because those gumdrops just kind of make this, make this card. So we're gonna crank that through one more time. We need one more gumdrop, and then I think we have everything we need. Okay, one more. 
you guys have to look like seriously that doesn't it like I want to eat this like it looks like a little gumdrop with the sparkles like the little sugar crystals on there <laughs> can you guys tell like I have a serious sweet tooth like any kind of sweet I'm like oh yeah I need that oh I need that oh I love that <laughs> okay darn you know what I forgot is the because what did I do? I don't know which piece I was supposed to use for that. Mm. I got to go get some cardstock. Hold on. I guess I should have labeled them. <laughs> All right. We'll find one that works. Okay. Here we go. All right. One more. One more die and then I promise we're done. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are laughing like I'm laughing, right? Because this is kind of turning into a hot mess today. But, you know... It, well, with all the interruptions and everything else, it just kind of, it's just the way it's happening today, I guess. All right, and we'll trim this down. I'm just using this piece and we're going to trim it down to what we need. Clearly, I should have labeled a couple things, but we'll be all right. Here we go. We've got our snow because you got to have the snow. That's what like the little white picket fence like kind of goes up against. So we need that. All right. <laughs> For real, we're done. <laughs> I hope anyway. So we're gonna trim that and that off. Okay. All right, so here's the card we're making, ladies. <laughs> Amy's a hot mess today, right? Okay, we will be just fine. We definitely are gonna have to trim, cut that down. Okay, so let's just, we're gonna do this right here. And we're gonna go like that and that. Okay, so that's gonna be good. So we're just gonna have to trim off some of this, which is gonna work out just fine. Again, I would probably use my paper trimmer, um, but these shears, as my mother used to call them, <laughs> work very well as well, right? You know what I'm realizing though? I actually don't wanna do that yet. I am going to, okay, am I gonna lose this? We need to use our little silicone mat here got all my little bits and pieces um, to add <laughs> adhesive. Oh my goodness. Okay. We want to add our adhesive or our little fence. We're going to put the little fence like right about there. So why I, I started to put this on and then I was like, oh, I know I'm going to have to trim that. So we're going to cut this, that little bit. Now we can put this piece on our polished pink piece. Okay, making progress, okay? It's gonna be all right now, ladies. <laughs> okay, so we've got our, oh, this little gingerbread house is so cute. You guys, this just builds, it's so much fun building this. Like, I can't even, like, stand it. <laughs> okay, um, dimensionals, where did those go? Right here, okay, okay. We've got this, we're gonna put one behind there. We actually need two, I'm just using my little minis, go behind those things, and a um, couple of big ones to go behind my sentiment. Okay, oh, and we need the little babies to go around. Where did that piece go? We'll find it. Okay, we'll come across it. Let's just keep working here, okay? We're gonna add some adhesive behind our trees. Okay, again, on my little mat so that they don't um, stick to anything. Our ladies, oh my God. <laughs> okay, well, here's the door. Here's the window, one of them. I know I die cut that other window. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, we're gonna add so the little, the other window and um, the rooftop are hiding from me. They're all, <laughs> I know they're here somewhere. Okay, that's the one, right? Okay, so we've got our little gumdrops. These are so cute, you guys. I love these. And then I popped one on a dimensional. <laughs> Thank you, Philomena. You guys are being good sports today. All right, so we're pretty good, right? Okay, so wherever, um, <laughs> I don't know where it is. Okay, so we're just, we're just rolling with this. There, imagine that, um, 
there were a couple more pieces that are around here, but um, I'll find them right after we're done. Or you guys probably see them and like, I can't even see them, right? <laughs> okay, imagine that we had that cute little roof there and we had one more um, one more window, wherever they are. I know they're, they're not, yeah, they're not on the, the machine. Okay, well, they're here somewhere. Okay, so last step would be to add a little bit of bling. Oh, here's the roof. Maybe I started throwing stuff in my tub with my dye. Oh, yeah. And there's that little guy, too. Okay, maybe that's what I did. I started throwing everything in here. I don't see my other window, though. Oh, I do. Okay, saving the day. Super excited about this. Okay, hold on. We got our window. Okay. Shoo! We can do this. Um these. Okay, so we're going to use the teeny tiny little dimensionals behind our rooftop and then our window there. Okay, so look, you got to put a little gumdrop right there. Okay, and sometimes it sticks to your finger. So you just have to like work with it a little bit. There's another window. Okay, and then <laughs> so um, hopefully you guys are laughing, enjoying yourselves with for my entertainment for today, right? Oh my gosh, what a mess I have here. Okay, so then we have the little opal rounds. I love, so the colors in here I thought worked, well, they're not even colors, but they are. Like the opal kind of picks up the pinks and the blues um, from the cardstock and then um, on the little opal rounds. So that they just worked perfectly. Okay, so we're gonna just add a couple little opal rounds. I put one on the sentiment, or maybe it's kind of like snow, like a little bit of snow, big snowflakes falling, right? There, okay, shoo wee! <laughs> Did we do it, ladies? I think we're, we came out alive. <laughs> All right, so again, New new deal. This is how it's working for the new Stampin' Up! year. If you put an online order in of at least $50, you're going to get one of each of these projects. You can see how much fun I'm going to have putting these projects together for you, right? Your name is going to go in the drawing to win the all bundled up. This super cute little, look at that little moose and the raccoon and the bunny. Such a cute stamp set, right? You also get to pick from the free embellishment or the PDF tutorial, either one of these. And then if you bump your order up to $100, you get an additional five free handmade cards from me. Make sure you use the new host code for the new year. Okay, thanks ladies. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed Facebook Live today. And again, another very, very heartfelt thank 